from Gilbert, the Ratchet Rice Rockets. And uh, I've been having a lot of issues with the uh, stupid drivers out there. Uh, almost a few times hitting me in my Integra. So my little wimpy Honda horn ain't strong enough to uh, alert them that they screwed up. So I got this little system so that when they know they screwed up, they'll know it. The Kohler system, four trumpet, 12 volt air horn. Just got it in the mail. So when they cut me off or hard break, they'll know. Somewhat of a unboxing. And uh, I'm going to bench test it, test it, 18 feet of uh, air hose, run it from the back of your car, the trunk, to the, to the front, I guess this is the horn, pretty nice, yeah they're definitely going to hear me. Now, I'm not really doing it to mess with people, it's just to really let them know that, hey guy, you almost hit me, or, well, I scared the shit out of him because of that. Now, this guy, I'm going to install it in my Acura Integra. This is the pump. Not too big. Got a tape measure here, I'll give you a measurement. The tank is about, what is that, 14, about 14 inches? About another, another inch, two inches with the little nozzle. So it's not gonna take up too much space and I'm gonna put it between my strut towers and my, in my hatch. What else does it come with? Some grommets, hardware. I picked this kit up for about 90 bucks online, eBay. I guess instructions. We don't need that. That's it. Empty box. Okay. Now, obviously, we got. Uh, what is this? The hot wire? Ground wire? What is this stuff? Like a sensor? Air sensor? Let's know when to shut off, I'm guessing. Now I have a 12 volt battery that I have from a car, but it's bad. But I'm going to put a charger on it. Battery charger. This guy to charge the battery because this battery won't this battery charger won't give out a voltage until it senses that it has a battery connected to it so let's see if I can do this fairly quick Give it a true bench test because well, we're on a bench. Okay. Now this is a fuse. Let's see if you can see it. It's a fuse link. Which I'm guessing we cut it cut it there open it up which you get a pair of, pair of pliers okay. 
incoming power, outgoing power, whatever. Battery here going through. It won't burn anything to the ground. Just slips in. This guy goes in here. And it has barb fittings. Is that? Can you really see it? it? Has a barb fitting. Can't really see. Yeah, where it slips on and then it's not supposed to come off. So what we're going to do is splice these guys or strip the wiring. Tie it together. Let's see, I think I got to wire that. Well, it's just a bench this. So. Yeah. Just a quick wire nut. Pays to be an electrician. Put that guy on the on the hot. It's black and goes to the black and it should kick on. Kind of scared me. Now that's just priming up. We'll cut back to when it's full. Alright, so in a court. Uh, in order to run this, you need a 12 volt source to power up this uh, actuator uh, valve, valve 12 or 24 volts. So I got a ground wire coming from one lead going to the, the, the negative side of a battery. And this side, I got a wire coming from the, the positive side hitting a switch, which right now it's a house switch, three way to be exact. And when I flip this switch, I travel through this guy, go on the other side. So, ready for sound test. Wow, that is loud. So on the next video, I'll be installing that on the Integra uh, Molly. But uh, if this video helped y'all in any way, give it a thumbs up. If not, sorry, I couldn't help. But uh, yeah, next video we'll be installing that on the car. I well, hope y'all liked it. Mm -hmm.